Dallas is such a huge metroplex that I've been on the highway now for basically an hour and I'm just now getting to where I need to be. It baffles me how large this Metroplex is. It sucks to have to take your car back to the dealership when you essentially just bought it. Uh, you see this running board is supposed to retract when the vehicle is off and it stays down. Actually, it doesn't even stay down. It stays at like a 45 degree angle and that's really dangerous, especially for all the girls. And on the passenger side, the running boards do not retract at all. And for a four-year-old girl, it's like climbing into a tank without that running board. So I called Roy, my service manager, and he said, bring it up. I will, I will take care of it. I'll look at it. Hey, Coffee, how's it going? Hey, man. <laughs> Hi, Roy, how are you? How's it going? Good, I thought good. you were going away. It's actually a little bit out of manufacturer's warranty, but he's like, I'm going to slip it underneath. The radar will get you all fixed up. <laughs> My Lincoln's broke again, Roy. <laughs> what do we got going on today? You, you broke it. Oh no. You sold me a faulty vehicle. <laughs> There's a running board on there, right? I should, I should have got the uh, Escalade instead. We're working through a little bit of bug. In addition to that, they're actually out of uh, rental vehicles. He was able to, to find one in the back and he's like, bro, I got you here. The keys, get out of here. Well, Geico State Farm policy number and expiration date. Okay. In that line right there for me. And yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Where's it at? This line here. Okay. Alrighty, thank you. I have not even made my coffee yet, and he says uh, I'm good to go. Sure, that's everything. Thank, thank you, sir. Thanks, Roy. Huh? You cannot beat that level of customer service, and it goes a long way with future purchases and building relationships, and that's that's what business is all about. It's, it's about building relationships. Do you help transfer anything over? No, I get it over. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Let, let me give you my card. This is our family vehicle. This is a huge investment for us, something that we decided to spend good money on because we have four children and we live in Texas where we drive a lot. And to see it not functioning properly and having all of these uh, defects it's really discouraging. It's 12.35 p.m. and I have not even had breakfast yet. I'm gonna check out this awesome place called Union Bear. It's like a brew pub, brewery. Should have some good food here. Running out of oxygen slowly My feet won't move and I'm choking I need someone to come and rescue me So won't you be my savior Pull me out of this hole I'm in need of your rescue Feel like my heart is going cold For those of you who don't know, I've come within inches of opening up my own brew pub in the past few years. Things have kind of fallen through the cracks and it just didn't get executed. But essentially, it would be me teaming up with someone who is in the brewing industry, either a, a brewer or hiring a brewer or going as far as opening up a partnership with another brew pub owner and bringing in my culinary experience because that's the whole thing is the breweries that don't have a kitchen, their sales are like 10% of the breweries that do have a kitchen. So you're essentially like increasing sales by 900% whenever you open up a, a brew pub, which is a restaurant and a brewery sandwiched together. It's something I'm really passionate about. And honestly, honestly, I'm probably gonna open a brew pub in the future, like a five to 10 year goal. I originally went into Union Bear with the intent of editing yesterday's vlog. Little did I know it was a brew pub when I went in. Food was delicious, but it was not conducive to an editing environment. It was really busy with lots of 
people and servers next door found this really awesome California inspired coffee shop called Golden Boy and we knocked out the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. It was spending time with my family at the park. It was actually a hard vlog to edit. Crazy. Sometimes ones that you think are so easy to cut are a little bit more time demanding. It's weird how that works out. Here's the thing. It's not about the brew pub. It's about never being satisfied and perpetually being hungry and always wanting more, always wanting to, to add value and to grow your business. Because at this point in my life, at this point in the game, everyone's looking up to me and saying, Kostas, what's next? What's next? You know, when am I gonna get my promotion? Well, there's no promotions if there's no growth. So I have to grow. I, I'm stuck in this dilemma where the business cannot stay static. It, it must grow or people will leave the organization. I am both burdened and blessed to be in the position right now where I have to make stuff happen. Otherwise, people will leave me or people will grow with me. And that's, that's why I'm always thinking, what's next? It's not for me. It's, it's for the people that I employ and the people that are looking up to me for, for growth and, and for, for more money. I mean, if we wanted to speak, frankly, where's the money? And I have to find the money. Everybody's asking me, where's the money? I, I need money. And they just want to take it. I got to make it. I got to create it. And that's, that's why my mind is always thinking about the next venture the next idea, the next growth hack strategy. It's exhausting. <laughs> it's exhausting. In the vlog here, guys. Thanks for pumping gas with me. I'll see you tomorrow.